The petrochemicals segment and rising oil prices are helping push Singapore's key exports higher. The growth was nearly 9% on year in May compared to April's 6%. But the figures show a decline on a monthly basis. Economists say this suggests that export levels on a monthly basis could be stabilising soon. Chua Tian Tian reports. Exports of non-electronic goods like specialised machinery and petrochemicals helped drive non-oil domestic export up by 8.8% on-year last month. It rose by 8.1% in May, more than one and a half times from the previous month. Electronic export growth hovered around 11%. Economists say while electronic exports will hold up, petrochemicals will likely chart the way ahead. So last year, um, GDP growth and in Q1 as well, uh, really electronics was the key driver. But I think going forward for Nodex growth, probably we start seeing um, uh, these petrochemical segment in a way picking up uh, given the higher oil prices. Uh, not to say that electronics is going to contract uh, because I still think that it's expected to remain robust um, given that there's still the ongoing uh, global chip shortage. But Nodex fell by 0.1% on a monthly basis, a second straight month of decline. One analyst says it could be a sign that exports are levelling off after supply chain disruptions amid the pandemic last year. There had been a potential pent-up demand after the slowdown in trade flows in 2020, you know, which basically underlines a very strong uh, growth seen in Singapore's Nordex in the first quarter of this year. This basically means that while Singapore's Nordex did see you know, a contraction on a month-on-month -on -month basis, you know, it also suggests you know, that Nordex is normalising towards a more resilient, a more sustainable growth pattern in the year ahead. Exports to key markets were also up, mainly from demand in China, Hong Kong and Malaysia. While exports to US and Europe slipped, economists believe it's not a cause for concern. H2 growth China is probably going to be slightly softer, but I do think the external demand will continue to be supported by um, reopening in the US economy. The reopening of the Europe economy amid increasing vaccination rates has actually uh, helped uh, with uh, external demand for uh, Singapore's uh, exports. Mr Ko is also hopeful that more COVID-19 mobility restrictions in both Europe and the US can be eased in the second half of the year. This will push up the demand for Singapore exports.